By stacking switches, you can simplify network management, increase redundancy, and improve performance. Even though you may have multiple switches, when they are stacked, they are managed as a single entity. This setup is especially beneficial in environments where uptime and reliability are crucial, such as offices, data centers, or schools. If you would like to set up stacking using the web user interface of the switches, click the link in the description. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain how to create a stack of two Catalyst 1300 switches via CLI. Next. Catalyst 1300 switches allow you to stack up to eight devices. Before starting, it's important to note that each switch must have the same firmware version and must belong to the same family type, as indicated on the screen. You can find this information in the Catalyst 1300 data sheet. The link is in the description. Cross stacking between different families is not supported. I will walk you through the process of forming a stack with two devices. Begin by logging into switch one. As you can see, this device has only one VLAN created with an IP and all other configurations are set to default. Now go to the configure terminal mode. The command to execute is stack configuration links, followed by the interface range that will work as stack ports. In this example, I'll use 10 gig ports 11 to 12 with the unit ID, the identifier for the device as one. After entering the command, the device will indicate that you need to reboot for the settings to take effect. I will save the configuration first, then reload the switch. Next, go to switch two and repeat the process. Notice that I am using a comma between the interfaces instead of a range. This way, you can select several interfaces that are not continuous if needed. Save the configuration and then reload the switch for the settings to take effect. After the devices are reloaded, plug the cables into the stack ports. After a few seconds, the stack will be formed. Connect the console cable to unit one. To check the stack, you can use the commands show stack, show stack configuration, and show stack links. It's important to note that connecting via CLI to a switch that is not active will not display any output. And there you have it, stacked switching, providing a more streamlined and efficient network management experience. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.